you're going to need three things. Uh, install Python. Um, install VS Code. I think VS Code is great. Um, kind of move around a lot and you can kind of display the image right here to kind of look at it. Or, and also know how to do virtual environments. There's tons of tutorials out there and I think anyone can do it. Um, you know, so get to it. So I'm going to get started here and basically we want to make our virtual environment. So calling Python, we're making a virtual environment. Dash M is call command. And then uh, V E N V is kind of saying like make a virtual environment. That's what we're telling Python to do. And then we can call it glitch environment. V. So that's being made. Once you make your virtual environment, you need to go into it. So I think it's really good to do this to kind of separate different Python packages because of version control. And uh, I do think this is uh, essential. So um, now that it's made, we are going to go into it. How you do that is that you're kind of typing in glitch or the name of your environment, wherever you named it, and then slash scripts if you're Windows, and then slash activate. What you're doing is you're running a script called activate to go into your virtual environment. So we're going to run it. So now that we're in the virtual environment, we need to install our requirements for this package. And that will be um, simply pip install pillow. Okay, that's installed. And then we need to do pip install. Please remember this um, had an error where um, num, uh, numpy uh, 1.19.4 wasn't working on Windows currently, which I think they'll just fix in the future. But just make that uh, dropped uh, kind of a working version of uh, NumPy. So now once that's kind of getting installed at the moment, okay, we're good. Now we can get um, the package that I talk about uh, glitch this, where uh, essentially we want to um, manipulate a reference image, like this Paramount image, and get a glitch effect. Right. So we are just going to pip install that. All right, that's done. Uh, glitch this um, is interesting. It actually works in your terminal. So if you do dash H, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, it is underscored, my mistake. And um, let me and the terminal for you. We see here that essentially uh, explanation of how it works is that it requires two major inputs and that is the image of your path and you're providing a level of glitch to it, um, which is kind of determined however he wrote this code and um, I can't really tell you right now. So that's all right. So we have this image that I was showing you before, this mountain image, we get the path. Oh, I just copied it instead of getting the path. We paste the path and then we want to give it a level seven. Okay. I did this once as a test. And if you already created the image with this call um, to overwrite it, you need dash F kind of after the call. So exactly like that. And then we kind of see the effect here. So um, if we do it over, over, over and over, you're seeing it's manipulating the pixels. There are more parameters that we can kind of see in this. So anyways, like I was saying, I preferred the script. And uh, what we're going to do here is that we are going to call and import our classes first. So we're going to do from pili, P -I -L -I, which is pillow that we installed earlier, and then an image object. And then from the glitch this package, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to call one of their classage image glitcher. Now, first thing we want to do here is then instantiate the class where um, we can call this object anything, but we're going to call it glitcher and then equal glitcher parentheses. Now, we'll use that class in a minute, but what we need to essentially do is open the image that we want to manipulate. And we're going to need image that we called from import above and then do dot open. And then we give open path. So for formatting on Windows, I do R and then uh, string essentially. And then we want to copy the path of the image we want to 
manipulate. Okay, now images in here, and to kind of like show you what we can do with it, we can like do like a print statement on it, and then we'll have a little like break itself. See, and it tells you like little details about the size of the image and kind of uh, some hexadecimal code, um, what kind of red, blue, green stuff is on it. So from here, we can use Glitcher to affect that object. So we're going to call this the glitched I image image and then equals to the glitcher dot attribute glitch underscore image. All right. So this attribute here, so we have an object called glitcher and then this attribute glitch underscore image is going to take the image here as a parameter, in this class. And then we can give it a secondary parameter, that glitch level I mentioned before. So we have one through 10 and we want it to affect the image a whole lot, right? So we do that. And it, what what's going to happen in turn is that this image object that we read into Python code on runtime, is going to get changed by this package. And we'll kind of see that effect on, on the right in a minute. Um, now, the final part is essentially saving the image into an output folder where we are going to make an output folder right here. I made it already is that we're going to copy this path. And I kind of did a test earlier. All right, throw this in a string. So um, ba basically what we're going to do is we're going to take glitch, the glitch image object that we made in line nine, and then we're going to do dot save. And then in dot save, you want to give a path to where you want it saved to. So we're giving it the path. And now what we're doing is saving to an output folder. It's important that we actually need to name the image. So test output.jpg. So right here in the output folder, I already did a test. See, this is a test of this code. Um, we're going to do it again here as an example. So let's run it. Okay, it ran, and then we can check out the test output here. And now, we can see test outputs right here, and we can just run the script like this. We can just up arrow and go through changes until we're like satisfied with what's kind of being made. Um, and then we can affect the level, like put it at two, so the effect is very minimal. Yeah, you can't even see anything if we can get there. It's so slight on two, so let's go to five. And again, so um, that's basically kind of like a simple way, and then we can affect more parameters in this way. Okay. The more parameters we can affect essentially is also uh, taking, doing color offset. So I mentioned earlier, if we type in glitch this dash um, H for help, we can see that there's different parameters for color. Um, but for inscripting here, its input is actually color offset. So we set it to true and we can see the effect on the right. So we didn't um, do offset coloring on this glitch. So let's run it. And you can see the colors are offset right here. And we can keep doing this to get various effects, yellow, blue. We're just kind of manipulating the RBG there randomly. So that's one other thing we can do. We can also do random seeding. So if we import random at the top, calling another package, it's kind of core to Python. It's the kind of stuff you'll see in little Python games sometimes. We can do a seed. So what happens to seed is you can feed a number in, and it will kind of affect the random object. And then when we call random random, it will give us uh, kind of the number. So I'll show this to you really quick. So let's give it 10. There's probably a much better way to do this, um, but this just for this example, we can do this. So if we run it again, we printed out a random set of chords. And this will happen because 10 kind of corresponds to it on the seed. So it's kind of like if you played Minecraft, it's kind of like Minecraft seeds, things like that. Um, so 230, we can give a different thing. So we can use this random number generator to affect the seeding on the glitcher object. So if I hit comma here and then do seed equals uh, X, we can kind of uh, affect the image. 
So that image will never change. We have that unique effect associated with that number. Well, let's say we just want to try crazy stuff. We can do random dot ran int from one to 200,000 million. Doesn't matter. We can run it. So what this is essentially doing here in this little random integer is that it's picking a number for one to two million and randomly choosing a number there. And to just prove that really quick, we could just throw that in there. So we know for a fact that this image effect that we're getting this number 500,000 here, um, and we give it to the random seed, it will give us this unique image. And then again, 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 we probably have some random seeding code inside already. So if we just kind of did um, the random init where we inputted this X, we should just kind of see, yeah, just major distortions. So he has the random code in there already. So I just wanted to explain that conceptually that we can get some really unique effects there. Um, and now um, the other, other cool thing about this um, Python script, uh, this GitHub, is that um, I kind of wrote this code out already because I don't have to go through the pain of setting it all over again, is that um, you do have to manipulate this path. So here um, you can actually generate GIFs. So I found a GIF with a cat with a machine gun. It's kind of silly. And we kind of run this script. S2. And it's complaining. Oh, it's because it's never generated it before. <laughs> uh, here, we'll do this. We have to fix that in here. And there, and then um, that GIF you saw, this package can also um, do slight modifications to that. And now we can kind of, um, again, do the similar thing as we did earlier, where we can do offset, or we can, um, there's also one called scan. Um, I think it's, uh, let's see here, I think it's scan, yeah, scan line. So if you know like an old television set, we can kind of get this effect where we set this to true. So yeah, I um, kind of get a television effect by turning that on as true. Um, so this is a very slight glitch. You can see the cat's kind of going nuts. We'll make it go crazy at nine. <laughs> the image has completely lost its mind. I think it's really cool. It's, it's a lot of fun and you can do a lot of creative things. Um, there's more um, interesting Python code that I would want to play around and run. I just wanted to share this with you and have kind of an example how to get this working. Um, I'd love to see what you guys make. Um, please go to uh, glitch this GitHub and give it a little star here. Um, I think this is a wonderful package. Um, the next one we'll be checking out is pixel sorting. So thank you very much.